pulling up at a new account here. Some, it's a law office. And uh, they got two systems, but they got one of them that's down. And it's actually a, uh, a newer rude unit. So we're gonna park right here and those condensers are right behind that wall. So let's go see what they got. Okay, so the system is running and it's just not cooling. And if you look right here, we put the gauges on it. We're undercharged. Uh, this is a rude unit. Uh, RA1436, and you can see right there, it's from May of 2020. Uh, the three ton, the three tons call for a really high subcooling on these units. So let me uh, take the cover off real quick. I believe they call for like a third, depending on the outdoor temperature, they call from anywhere from a 13 to a uh, to a 15 degree subcooling, and we have no subcooling. It looks like the installing contractor didn't doesn't know what superheat and subcooling is. Gotta take the cover off and the charts in here. And this is our unit. Oh, let me clear that up. Here we go. This is our unit of 1436. You come down the cooling mode and we'll go back to 36. Okay, so it's pretty much it doesn't matter what the outdoor temperature is, unless it's it's definitely not 55 degrees. So 75 degrees and up, they want a 15 degree subcooling on this machine. And we have 0.7. You can see the suction line's a little warm. So this is just an undercharge system. The, uh, doesn't look like the installing contractor uses superheat and subcooling formula. He also doesn't change his whips out. He leaves these uh, non, non-weatherproof, non-water resistant whips, and he doesn't fix the disconnects. They leave them hanging off the wall. So we'll address all of that. I don't know if the customer will let me replace the whip and fix the disconnect. I will bring it to his attention. There's another system over there, but we have picked up this account. Uh, so, I'm gonna tell him that the that this whip should have been changed with the install. This is just lazy and cheap. And leaving the disconnect hanging off the wall is also lazy and cheap. So we're going to at least get the charge right. Hopefully the TXV is not bad. We'll find out. I doubt that it is. It's probably just a simple undercharge. And uh yeah, we'll see what we can and, and you know we'll we'll address these other issues with the customer and see what they want to do with it. And we'll probably put this place on a maintenance program. All right, so we added two pounds of gas and the superheat has dropped. So has the line temperature. And you can see the expansion valve is playing. I just saw it at 3.8 degrees of subcooling. It, it, it's, it's 80 degrees in the space. So the valve is wide open right now. But we've drastically improved it. You can feel it cooling off in the building now. I'm not leaving that box like that. Look at that. That's just that's just laziness on the installing contractor. My masonry bit is on the job with my installers. My installers are installing a condenser and a coil this morning. So I'm gonna go run. There's an electrical supply house right here. And there's also a hardware store right here. I'm gonna go get me a masonry bit. You see, see the super, the sub cooling coming up. So we're definitely moving towards the right track. I'm gonna go get me a masonry bit. I have an anchor kit in the truck, but my masonry bit's gone to drill through that brick and put an anchor. So I'm gonna go get me a masonry bit and I'll be back. Okay, so we got the box secure to the wall. shut down it's got a nest thermostat 
and it shut down. Uh, when I got back, the, the unit was shut down. So I went inside and the nest was in time delay. I don't know why. I don't know if they were fooling with it or what they were doing. So it's done gotten even hotter in the space. But if you look here, we've dropped the superheat. We've dropped the suction line temperature. Our subcooling is still playing around. So I'm not gonna put any more gas in it. The reason that we have a low subcooling is because of the extreme temperature in the space. The expansion valve is pretty much acting like a piston. It's wide open. So we'll let it calm down, and then if we have to, we can always come back tomorrow when it cools off or later today, because our change out we're doing is literally like, I think two miles up the road from here. So after we get done with our change out, I'm going to meet the guys on the change out after this. We get done with the change out, we can come back over here and recheck the charge if necessary. So I'm gonna start buttoning things up.